British Polio Fellowship has been working with fashion designer Alia Lee to create a fashion collection with a little bit of a twist and it's to raise awareness of post-polio syndrome on PPS Day. We've done a wearable collection incorporating football products into the designs. So I've used football pump bells, football studs and used them as like embellishments on the designs. It's vital that we raise awareness about post-polio syndrome and with the help of Crystal Palace we're going to do that on the 17th of October. The fashion collection is going to be launched at half time. I didn't know much about the condition actually but through Julia, a good friend of mine, I got to learn a little bit more and it's, that's what we're here to you know, help to raise awareness. It's really important for me to be involved having had the disease as an infant myself and potentially I will have post-polio syndrome as I move on into later years. It's very debilitating and people don't to understand that it is actually a recognised illness now. We did some research recently uh, and identified that post paleo syndrome is only recognised by about 4% of the 34 to 44 year olds. I'm starting to experience symptoms of post polio syndrome. I visited my GP so many times and it took several years before I got a proper diagnosis that it's the late effects of polio. The symptoms of post polio syndrome are a new weakness, uh, fatigue and pain in muscles which may or may not have been previously affected by the polio infection. Many people think that polio is something consigned to the history books, but for 120,000 people in the UK it's a very real thing and we felt we're using a fashion shoot to turn some heads. The perfect opportunity of being able to showcase this collection at the Palace West Ham game on October the 17th is because it's a captive audience. There'll be people there who really know nothing about this post-polio syndrome. That's why it's so important that people know about it.